everybody, and welcome to the Comic Book Burrito, the only podcast where we're both part Spider-Man and part Batman. We're poor and without powers. My name's Darian. I'm Glenn. And today, we have a plethora of stuff for you. We have Marvel, we have DC, we got games, you name it, we got it. Let's talk. Glennon, how you been doing? Uh, I've been doing pretty good. Play, uh, I'm close to that layer of Batman 3 Platinum. So, uh, yeah, I watched uh, Watchmen, the movie, like three times this week. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but how about you? How, how have you been? Uh, well, I would say this is our first week. This is our first week without Peacemaker. So yeah. I haven't had uh, that to watch. <laughs> so I've, just been reading, watch. I've just been reading and uh, like comics and stuff. And uh, I just finished Watchmen. This week mm-hmm. took me a week to read it. So when I had what, it done in like two days. It was smaller. What did you think? It was good. <laughs> oh, okay. That's all, that's all you gotta say. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, well, I ain't letting you borrow a book again. Just saying it's good. <laughs> I want you to give me a full-on review. I'll give you a full-on review when you watch Star Girl. All right. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, what else did I do this week? <laughs> I mean, you, I mean, you did make some Watchmen characters and uh, <laughs> <laughs> super realists. Yeah, but that was because we were bored. But, oh, well, we did go with Stillman, played some Justice 2, and uh, what was my what was my streak? Uh, I don't remember. All I know is that you got beat by him one time, and that's good. Yeah, so. yeah, I was one. Yeah, I was one time though. So out of out of the out of the fifteen, we did. So I just want to point that out, but um. Yeah, I, don't know. I guess a boring week for both of us because there's no peacemaker. Yeah, and there hasn't <laughs> yeah. there hasn't even been that much news. So like, this, yeah. so this is going to be a strange episode, but we're going to make the most out of what we got, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Um, I got a thing to uh, not announce. I'm not announcing anything, but uh, remind you guys of towards the end of this episode. And with that, I guess we can get started with the news. Mm-hmm. All right, let's dive deep well, into this Marvel. Well, I mean, well, I did want to point out real quick. I mean, something did, something interesting did happen to us. Like what? Uh, well, not interesting, but you know, yeah, you know, yeah, you know, something, something pretty good happened. Then progress happened. So, oh, I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? I, Pro- progress. I know, but happened. that is that is like. Uh, that, that two is, months uh, from being announced. Oh gosh! Uh, uh, oh, right. you, you announced a announcement. Okay, whatever. Pro- but progress was made. We'll just say that. Anyway, um, sorry, sorry. I just want to point out the. Our, uh, sorry to pull out. You know how good the work. A magician doing. doesn't reveal their tricks. <laughs> oh my god! All right. <clears throat> So let's get into this Marvel news. Um, last week, we talked about how the Netflix shows were leaving. Ne- the Marvel Netflix shows were leaving the streaming service on March first, and now that is when this is dropping on YouTube on Monday, uh, the twenty eighth, last day of February. Uh, it'll be the final day. To watch uh, all your shows, you know, Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, yeah. Punisher, and all that. Uh, yeah. But good news is that the Netflix shows will be on Disney Plus on March 16th. So, when, what was the. Uh, okay, okay, okay. No, I was going to say, I was going to ask you when they come back, but you just said it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm very. I mean, uh, I mean, luckily, y'all have to stress too much because I mean it'll come back very soon. Yeah, yeah I don't even. Fi- I'm not even finished with it. I'm not going to be able to get finished with it. Uh, well, I, I I did plan on rewatching. Uh, I plan. I did plan on rewatching Daredevil, but um, problem is, like they announced that I'm like, well, I'm gonna watch it. I'm not gonna finish it. Yeah. So I just I'm just gonna wait till they release them on Disney Plus, and then I'm gonna start going. Mm-hmm. No, that's why I have a fire stick, so I can watch it anytime I want. Um, all right. Well, I, I, I wanted to point out, it's going to be kind of interesting seeing shows like Luke Cage and all that on Disney Plus, purely because, I mean, those um, 
I never finished the shows. Uh, I never finished those episodes of Luke Cage. I saw like the first two, but yeah. like it gets pretty. I know, it's pretty crazy. I know Luke Cage, Mahershala Ali is plays the villain of the first season. That's the guy that's playing Blade in the Blade movie. Yeah, so that's, that's gonna be kind of interesting. I mean, I don't think. I mean, it probably won't be a big of a deal. Like, it just it's a different universe. Yeah. But what I'm wondering is, I mean, there's some pretty. There's some stuff in there that's so like not really for kids. I'm not saying that Marvel can't go in that direction, but it's going to be kind of funny having a Disney label slapped on it, you know? Mm-hmm. So, uh, but we'll uh, see. I'm excited. I think uh, I'm glad these shows are getting. I, I, I think we can be really happy these shows are not like lost at all. Mm-hmm. Oh, because I mean, I, mean, I don't think it would happen, but but I, I'm glad it is getting a home. It's just going to have that weird in between for a while, but it'll be back before you know it. Yeah. Um. But yeah. That's the that's the news in the Marvel Disney Plus shows. Or now I guess I have to call them that now. Marvel Netflix Disney Plus shows, if you will. <laughs> the Marvel Netflix Disney Plus shows that are not take place in the MCU. Yeah. That- <laughs> they, they, I don't, they now I wonder if they're going to be <laughs> labeled. Um, as legacy shows. Well, I wonder if I wonder is Daredevil will be titled Legacy? Don't know. I mean, you know, he was in uh he was in No Way Homes. I mean Yeah, but you can also make the argument that the other X Men movies, though Days of Future Past or whatever isn't labeled as uh MCU movie, but you know the what's his name from the Quicksilver was in one WandaVision. I believe so we thought it was Quicksilver. Yeah. What a, I mean, I, ooh, crap. <laughs> yeah, good point. Okay. Uh, stuff just doesn't make sense. We'll go with that. Yeah. All right, let's move on. Actor Fred Heshinger has been cast as the chameleon in Craven the Hunter. Now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, so the Craven the Hunter movie with Aaron Taylor Johnson playing the titular title character. Um... Really, we don't know much about this movie. Russell Crowe's going to be in it. So Jor El yeah. and it Zeus. Comes, it comes out like next year in January, right? Um, yes. Okay. Okay. I can't remember at all. Yeah. Uh, I can't, I, we're going to get into more. I, I don't know if you have this on your list, but we'll talk about another movie later. But do, do continue with uh, with with uh, more with uh, with uh. Craven. I know exactly what you're talking about. Uh, yeah. We will get into that. Uh, yeah. So, like I said, the chameleon, uh, you guys know he's the half brother of Craven the Hunter. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, he's got, it's kind of like, kind of like the clay face of Spider Man's rogues gallery. Yeah. Uh, Which, well, who, who would you think is better? Well, chameleon can't change his body, he can just change. Like his face, yeah. So clay face, because mm-hmm. he's he's strong oh. and he's got the um, what you know the clay to transform into people. I've seen some cool concept art of P of uh, of what they could do to really modernize Chameleon, and it's like he his whole suit is like holographic, where he can like be like different sizes as well. I don't know. Oh, but yeah, who knows? Yeah. Who knows? You think they're gonna do something like that, or you gonna think just do the classic? He wears like the white mask. Um, you know, like, I think they'll do the white mask. They're gonna do like the different masks and stuff. Okay, I was just wondering. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, we're getting cra- we're getting chameleon though. That's confirmed. Fred Heshinger. He's played in. Uh, let me look. Fred. Oh. Hang on. Fred Heshinger. What is this man played in? The White Lotus. Playing in that Pam and Tommy uh, movie or show, whatever it is that's going on right now with uh, Sebastian Stan. Sebastian Stan, yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's I, in the, I, I, I really do want to see that. Uh, I've heard some stuff about it that I think mm-hmm. you'll find hilarious. Mm-hmm. Uh, but there's these Fear Street movies on Netflix that he's been in. Uh, he was in the News of the World with Tom Hanks. That movie came out last. It came out 2020. He's been in a few other things too, but White Lotus seems to be his most popular. It's a show. 
Mm, okay. All right. Next. I told you we'd get into it, and we're getting into it. Morbius star Jared Leto confirms that Michael Keaton's character in Morbius is, in fact, Marvel Studios' vulture. Oh, Oh, that's what you're talking. Well, I mean, I was gonna mention Morbius, but I was gonna say that a uh, oh, what are you talking? A about? new Morbius trailer. Oh, well, yeah. Well, that yeah. I just hold up on that. Oh, oh, fine. Sorry, I didn't mean to spoil. I didn't mean to spoil something. My bad. My bad. I was spoiling the news for you guys. Sorry, sorry, but let's let's talk about Vulture. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, so that means Morbius. Some I don't know how if it takes. It I bet it doesn't take place in the MCU, but. I don't it know. takes place in like the Venom world. Yeah, because they mentioned Venom. Yeah. But, but Michael Keaton's vultures there, unless he like got out of prison during all that No Way Home stuff, some or maybe somehow got transported through the multiverse or something. Uh, I mean, who knows? I honestly, because I wonder. I'm kind of just interested of where dates were, because I mean, I feel they delayed this movie so many times. Yeah, um, to the point where I'm not too excited to watch it. Yeah, like I mean, obviously we're going to have to watch it. Um, I mean, I don't think it like yes. looks bad. It's just like I'm kind of like lost the hype for it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because I feel like this movie has a chance of being better than Mike Venom. Honestly, like uh, that first of the maybe. Carnage, I mean, I, I think it has a good chance. Chance, but like Maybe. I'm just tired of like it being delayed and seeing like the same thing over and over again. Yeah. And, but but if there's like a cool reveal in there, like a uh, this is all in Andrew's world and Andrew Garfield's coming back, then uh yeah, <laughs> then yeah, I'll be I, I think it'll be well worth a, a watch. So yeah, but uh, we get the vulture coming for Morbius. And then mm. the next piece of news, which Landon decided to spoil for you all, is that we are getting the final trailer for Morbius on Monday, February 28th, the day this releases on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Uh, so be on the lookout for that on the Sony YouTube channel. And the next piece of news is also about a trailer on Monday, February 28th. The big rumor for this past week was that we are getting the Thor trailer very, very, very soon. Mm-hmm. The Thor, you know, for the Thor Love and Thunder movie coming out in July. Yeah. And just recently, another room has come out. It is dropping on Monday, February 28th. Hmm. Uh, do you think they might have pushed it back because of everything kind of going on in the world right now? Um, it's possible. I know okay. they did that with the new Fantastic Beasts movie. Mm. And I think I don't know if anything else, maybe. But I know that one was a big one. They pushed it back oh, until yes. further notice. Oh, dang. So, like, I delayed it definitely. Okay. Okay. Well, I was wondering. Because mm-hmm. I remember you kept telling me, it's like, yeah, I think it might still come out uh, Thursday for, like, Thor Day or something like that. And I was like, okay. Nothing happened. But, you know. Yeah, I was trying to make a joke with Thursday being Thor Day, and they can make, like, a whole thing with it. Uh, oh. <laughs> Watch it Thursday. That's oh god. <laughs> no. Uh, no. Okay. Um well I hope we do get that track because I want to see what this movie's about because I'm kind of not it's a Thor movie. <laughs> it's I'm about Thor. Of... It's Taiko well, Itini. Mean, yeah, I know he's behind it. It's gonna be good, but I just I hate Jane <laughs> so much. But may I uh, yeah, I'm I'm gonna give the benefit of the doubt only because Taika Waititi's on it. And he might be able to change her character and make her good. <laughs> so we'll find out. So I also want to point this out. On Disney Plus, they released a movie, and it is semi Marvel related in, in some aspects and video game related, so we can talk about it. But uh, they released a movie called Free, The Free Guy, the Ryan Reynolds movie. And yes. I've already seen it. I'd seen it previously. Um, I just watched it again last night, and absolutely, the movie is so good, man. Yeah. I, I never watched it. I, I, I do plan. I know it just got to Disney Plus. I plan to watch it soon, though. I'm going to watch it tomorrow. You very much need to watch that. I highly recommend it. There's a whole Marvel like joke section in that. And somebody shows up that you guys will be very surprised about. Oh, yeah. Besides you, Landon, because you decided to spoil yourself on it. 
I didn't spoil myself. Well, I just showed up. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. I might watch this movie. Yeah, you, you got spoiled. And, uh, how about, uh, you watch Watchmen tomorrow? I'll watch Free Guy tomorrow. Okay. All right. So shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and let me do my thing. <laughs> All right. Anyway, let's move on to this next piece of Marvel news, ladies and gentlemen. The production of Marvel Studios' Halloween special, which... Um, it's supposed to be most likely about Werewolf by Night. I think that's basically confirmed now. It has been, The production of it has been delayed from late February, which is when it was supposed to start, so it should have been starting right now. It's been delayed yeah. till mid-March, which isn't a huge delay. Why, why do you think... There's well, a reason. I, I, yeah, yeah. You know what? Never mind. Uh, is, it, is it what I think it is? Uh, probably not. Oh, okay. Well, what, what is it then? Uh, they haven't announced a director. Normally, they'll announce a director at the same time they start, uh, you know, filming or starting production. They haven't announced yeah. a director yet, but a rumors going around about who they've gotten to direct it. Sam Raimi. Would you like to know who's directing the Marvel Studios Werewolf by Night Halloween special? Uh, yes. Well, tune in next week. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> tune in in March. Right? You will. <laughs> You'll find out. No. Yes. Michael Giacchino is reportedly directing this special. Now, Michael Giacchino is a composer. But this is his first directing gig. And actually, I think okay. it's his first. But well, are you well, aware we... of what Michael Giacchino has like composed? No, no. I was going to ask you what, what, what's his famous work. Okay, let me. I gotta. I know. All, I know a lot of it, but I'm going to look it up just so I can read it off to you because that, one of them, uh, like a few of them, are going to make you like, oh, this isn't good. All right. I'm. I'm guessing. Wait, is he going to compose the music for the Werewolf by Night as well? As he might. He's done music for movies such as. Spider-Man Homecoming, Spider-Man No Way Home, Spider-Man Far From Home, Up, Jurassic World, Ratatouille, War for the Planet of the Apes. He's doing Thor Love and Thunder. He did The Incredibles. He did Coco. He did Star Trek, Inside Out, the new Lightyear movie. He did Rogue One, a Star Wars story. He did Doctor Strange. And he's doing The Batman. Oh, well, dang. Okay. So this guy has a great track record of music. Mm-hmm. Is it? Uh, so let's hope. Uh, let's hope, I mean, hey, if he has great directing skills, man, I mean, he could probably make a good superhero movie, honestly, because I love all of his superhero um, themes. Like the Batman is like the best thing I've ever heard ever. Yeah. Hey, is, yeah, I got to talk is out now. Yeah, I should have put that down as news for DC, but I didn't. <laughs> well, subjects out now for the Batman. Oh. I listen yeah. to that whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I love the titles of the songs. Um, right? Was it um, raining rain, down vengeance or something? Raining down vengeance. <laughs> it's like oh, it's hilarious, but it's it's great. I'm, I'm I'm excited, and I've heard some tracks. It's fair. It's great. So I mean, I hope he gets the job. Hub. Uh, I want. I really wonder what, what what's kind of stopping them from announcing that. I wonder if it's. Uh, I wonder if it's like a tie. Yeah, uh, like, that's possible. Or they mm-hmm. could be getting in pre-production right now. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, you think they're doing like contract work right now? Maybe. Or say, hey, he's he's already been hired, but it's just contract. Okay. Well. Well, I I do hope he gets the thing because I mean, I mean maybe maybe. Well, I'm nervous because I'm like. Well, what if he's only good at just composing stuff? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I mean, nothing, nothing wrong with giving someone a chance. So I'm, I'm excited. I, I, hope, I do, I do hope he gets it, and we'll see what he can do. Mm-hmm. Um, what's next? I'm very surprised that we're only 20 minutes into this episode, and I have two pieces of Marvel news left. Mm. So we're gonna do something at the end of this to waste some time. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, what if season two news? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. So, what if season two is dropping next year? I think that was the rumored year for it. Now, we know what the first episode is. Now, Landon already knows this because I talked to him about it, but we're going to talk about what that could be like. What if the Guardians never teamed up? Hmm. 
So now you got Star Lord being a scavenger out. He's still working for the um, the Ravagers, right? And I think that's what he was at the beginning of Guardians. He was like stealing something for them. Uh, right? Who? Who was Star Lord? Star Lord was stealing. He was stealing the, the power star, that the orb or whatever. Person. But he's yeah. I, I was going to say yeah. I was going to say it was for the collector, but no, they, that wasn't him yet. It was uh, it was some guy in the city, and then he bumps into Gamora. Like <laughs> he bumps into with Gamora, but Gamora's working for Thanos. Um, well, at that moment, actually working for Ronan. Yeah, she was like, trying to get the power stone. Yeah, for Rocky Thanos. Brucey, see, or, they're like bounty hunters. <laughs> yeah, and they saw like a, a bounty on. Uh, I can't remember who who it was. I, I, I don't know if it was on. I know it was on either Star Lord or Gamora. I want to say it was Star Lord. They tried to go after him, and somehow Drax gets involved with it. Yeah, Drax was in the prison that they. He's Drax wants to oh, kill Thanos. Oh, was he already in the prison? Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen that movie. Okay. So, okay. what our team's going to be doing? Star Lord's on his own. Dra- uh, Rocket and Groot are bounty hunting still. Gamora is working with Thanos, which I have a theory about this, I'll tell you in a minute. And then Drax is going after Thanos. Hear me out. Drax goes, kills Thanos, right? Gets his mission done. Mm -hmm. We finally get to see that happen in the MCU. And then uh, Gamora takes Thanos' armor and his weapon and uses it for herself. And that's how we get that Gamora Thanos that was in the finale of What If Season 1. Oh, do you think it's... Oh, so you think it's kind of an origin story for that? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I mean, oh, that actually is a pretty cool idea. Okay. Yep. Well, that's that's my what if news. Okay. Yeah. I'll be well, watching I'm, it. I'll be, I'll be I'll watching be, it. I'll be watching I'll be it. Season two. I'm guessing is there going to be just in a just the same amount of episodes? Probably. As, uh, yeah. Probably. Okay. But but we're, we get to have some more <laughs> uh, phase four. Projects in this one, so we can have. Mm-hmm. We're gonna. Uh, they did announce that they're doing the Eternals episode at some point. Yeah, yeah. We'll see how. I, I'm, wait, I'm waiting for the next Marvel project, and that's Moon Knight, right? Yes. Okay. Well, what, what, what's the next movie? In May. <laughs> oh. Doctor. Strange. Oh yeah, Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange, man. Well, so, I'm, a, I'm about to wait. I'm, I'm about to lose my job here. <laughs> I'm about to. I don't know. I mean, we're in a drought, man. Like, we don't have any DC or Marvel coming anytime soon as the Batman and Moon Knight. I guess we could just milk the Batman <laughs> for weeks. But I'm saying, I mean, I'm going to rewatch Peacemaker and talk about each episode. <laughs> how, how much each episode is a masterpiece? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Like I said, that's my what if news. And that's, let's move on to the final piece of Marvel news tonight. Ryan Reynolds has teased that there will be some Deadpool 3 news coming soon. Hmm. Oh, boy. So, we are in your Deadpool 3s in the works. It's supposedly supposed to be R-rated still. And yeah, um, yeah. it'll be... I think Phase 5 is what I read. Yes. But, like, how do you think this is going to happen? Obviously, they're going to make it... they got to make a joke about how he's not in the Fox universe anymore. Mm. I mean, yeah, I mean, there's going to be so many just nods to stuff. I mean, it's not going to be funny. It's going to be, it's, it's going to be crazy. Yeah. Could that be one of the, f- turn out to be one of the funniest MCU movies? I feel like it can. Because like, yeah, yeah, I think so as well. Which MCU movie in your mind is the funniest? What MCU movie? Yeah. I mean, let's get, I let's get the, the best comedy. The Guardians movies, both of them. I, I can't really pick one. Well, Thor there. Ragnarok was also. <laughs> Thor Ragnarok has me laugh a bit with Hulk, with like all the Hulk stuff and a couple, and especially in the beginning with Thor and and Thor and Loki dynamic. Oh yeah, Pick, I've been uh, falling for thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. <laughs> it's I'm not I'm not a witch. Why are you dressed like one? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but. You know, I don't know. Yeah, I'll say the Guardians movies are pretty top tier for comedy wise. But I mean, if Deadpool 3 can do something pretty good, good with the. Uh, oh, I mean, I'm sure it will. I mean, 
because I, I I love Deadpool two more than I do uh, Deadpool one, and if they can just do what's better than two, uh, then I'm gonna be really excited. And plus, plus they have the, they have uh, Disney money on their side now. Yeah. So, and I'm wondering. I just think. I wondered. Dude, I mean, are they gonna have Colossus and? Uh, <laughs> Colossus and Teenage, oh, I'm not gonna say the whole name. Teenage Warhead come back. Negasonic Teenage Warhead. <laughs> I don't feel like saying the whole name. It's one extra word. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's too it's too much. It's too much. But, I mean, Cable. Is he, I mean, I'm sure. I mean, Cable has to come back. You know what I'm saying? I can see Cable coming back, but not Colossus and and uh, T- Negasonic Teenage Warhead unless. They introduced the X Men before. <sighs> we'll find out. Maybe maybe not really strange. Well, who knows? Yeah, that's true. But I mean, yeah, we'll see what this news coming out is. But Ryan Reynolds is talking about it. We're waiting for it. Mm. And that's my, uh, you know, Marvel news. <laughs> mm-hmm. So how so how about that DC news? Yeah, but first before we get into the DC news, let's uh, talk about the Batman for a minute. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um <laughs> we got the Batman coming out in a week. A week from the day we're recording this, which is Saturday, the February twenty sixth. A week from today we are seeing the movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, at what, three or one o'clock in the afternoon? One, one. one o'clock. We're yeah. getting a big group. Yeah. Getting a big group and it's gonna be fun. Well, try, we we're thinking about doing a group episode uh, involving well, at least four uh, four people, from what I well, understand. Well, 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 the one guy I want to get on here, I don't understand. <laughs> I, I I will never understand why he does not want to come with me. Well, why why he does not want to get on here with us? But you know, whatever, yeah. whatever. All right, but. Like I was saying, we'll do a group episode. We'll have Spillman in here. Uh, you know what? Maybe we'll get our dads to come in here. <laughs> <laughs> come in. Come in here. <laughs> no. Uh, I would like... Okay, well, Spillman's, Spillman, I mean, Spillman's a definite, right? Yes. Okay. And we're, we're going we're gonna to have a couple people. We'll, but that, we'll leave that. We'll let y'all... We want to introduce them. They'll introduce themselves on the show. So yeah. we'll... So, a little, a little surprise. So, who knows? <laughs> I thought about maybe making a Facebook post, like a Facebook event of, like, hey, if you want to join this, come buy out the theater and we can all experience the Batman together. But, you know what I'm saying? You know, I don't know. We'll figure, we'll I figure doubt, it out. I doubt it. I doubt that would work. Well, I don't know. Not, right? with, not with our, the amount of people we have on our social medias. We we'll have, like, we'll one have, person. No, like, okay. We'll, we'll, let, we'll let people know. Let people know. We're in row D, so if you want to sit with us, yeah, <laughs> we're sitting, Please. we're sandwiched in uh, around a random stranger. D6, yeah, that's, well, I mean, that's I, his I, name, I, that's his nickname. We just call him D6. I, I hope, I hope he like hates this or, movie. or she, it could be a girl, who knows? It could be, it could be a child. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find parents, out. Parents said, You go watch the Batman, we're gonna go over here and watch this movie. We're watching, we're watching Canto. We're watching Canto while you watch. You, you would think, I think it would be the opposite. The kid would want to go see Canto. No, the kid would want to see the Batman. <laughs> the parents would go I watch. Know I, I know if I was a kid. I know if I was a kid, I would just rather see the Batman. That is true. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm super excited for this movie. Mm-hmm. Um, hey, hey, let's get let's get D six on the podcast. Let's get him. Let, or him or her, whoever. Let's get them on the podcast. That would okay. be that'd be great. You should, we, that's what we're gonna tell them. As soon as, as soon as they get there, we'll say, "Hey, we have this podcast." <laughs> we're saying, hey. names, we say, "We won't tell you. We won't give out your name. We'll just call you D 6 <laughs> <laughs> and you will join us, and you know, we'll have a blast." Yeah, and they'll be like. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't like really cool. If we get if we get D six on the podcast, we'll let y'all know. We'll let y'all know. Yep. Okay. <laughs> but I thought we'd talk about maybe for this movie. I mean, obviously our expectations. I'm going into it 
with high expectations. I was kind of going to gauge how what you're thinking about going into it, what you're going to expect. Mm. Now, do you expect for this to be the best Batman movie? Yeah. I've already heard from people it is the best. Oh, I heard from. I heard uh, that it was on tier with The Dark Knight, which you don't like, heard, but everyone else does. I heard, I heard it was above tier of Dark Knight, which is, which to my standards is not that hard to do because that movie is not good. I just want to point that out. <laughs> the dark, I don't like the Dark Knight, but I mean, I Deadline Deadline did a early review of it, and I'm surprised they got away with it because the embargo doesn't lift till Monday. Yeah, and we're working on a Saturday. Uh, they gave the movie a two out of ten. So. Well, well, I don't know, but because I saw the um, thing that got put out, and I think you sent oh. it to me. Mm. And let me look. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. he doesn't say it in there, but apparently an article says it's a 10 out of 10. I'll apparently. read the thing you sent me. He said, Holy crap, guys. Deadline's review for the Batman is a gosh darn love letter. <laughs> Not only did he put it on the same pedestal as The Dark Knight, he had no flaws with the film. You could tell he was ready to say it was a 10 out of 10. Can't wait for Monday. Oh, so he did not say he was gay. He was trying to say, okay. Yeah, Check well, your I, sources. I, I misread. I misread. It. I didn't just. Mm-hmm. I just missed- That's why I got everything written down right here. Oh my god! Pen and paper, whatever. Mm-hmm. Whatever. But high expectations all around. I assume. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's it's crazy. Uh, I'm. <sighs> I'm I'm excited. I uh Well, what what do you think your review is? Your rating is going to be for this movie out, out of bat symbols. Out of ten, no. Like, what, what would it be? I'll give. I probably. I'd probably give it ten out of ten. Um, but, with, <laughs> but a ten out of ten, but with vengeance. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I want to say nine, just so I can avert. I want. I want to say I'm gonna give it a nine, just so when I get we there. Rate, so you, you, we rated the finale of Peacemaker better than the Batman. No, 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 let me finish. I'm gonna say nine, just so when I see it, it can exceed it, exceed the nine, just so I can give it a fifteen out of ten. Impossible. Okay, but for real, I'm gonna give it. I'm, I'm probably gonna. I feel like I'm gonna give this movie a ten. And if this movie sucks, <laughs> give them give the guy who marketed the movie like a like the biggest raise on planet Earth. Because <laughs> I mean, the advertising for this movie was incredible. Yeah. So, like, like the trailers were perfect. But I'm, I'm excited. I mean, I think this movie is going to be the best. This, this could be, Darren. This could have a chance to be the best superhero movie of all time. Spider-Man: No Way Home came out. <laughs> yeah, I love that movie. And Avengers: yeah. Endgame. And Infinity but, War. <laughs> yeah, but you say that, but everybody still considers Dark Knight to be like number one. The number one Batman, one of the number one Batman movies. Well, no, I used to think, think that, that nineteen. No, no, I used to actually. I'll be honest with you. I used to think that Batman Forever was the number one, but then it's it's my it's actually my number two. What were you smoking? What? It's actually my number. It's my number two, and I talk about that in the our extra beef episodes about the Tim Burton Batman movies. So you can go uh, listen to that all the way back yeah. at the beginning of our. We we ought to fin- we ought to finish that series and go with the Joel Schumacher movies. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll do your Batman Forever, but then we have to do Batman and Robin. I have to see my favorite character. Batman, Batman Robin sucks. <laughs> it's not, it's unfair that you that you get a pr- you get a pretty decent adaptation of your favorite villain, but my but I have to I have to watch my favorite villain get <laughs> shafted like crazy. What killed the dinosaurs? The I say. <laughs> I want to. I, it made me, it, it, freeze one out of. I can't. Like I was, I was playing like about. Going to put you on the ice. <laughs> Gosh. What a, what a, what a joke! Oh my god! Like okay, so I was playing like about three, right? And there's yeah. a mission. It's like a side mission on a planet on like one of the Green Lantern planets. Mm-hmm. Where you, are, Mr. Freeze, and you help him out, and he they literally gave him an Ar- a Arnold accent in that game, and it makes me angry. <laughs> it, it 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 pushes my buttons, and I don't like it. Does it? I don't like it one bit. Oh, I got one more. I got one more. Very nice. 
All right, what, what's where's one that he says? It's so stupid because he's doing he really he orchestrates a whole band of doing the song uh I missed your white Christmas. Yeah. And, like, he's just like, why? The why Ice Man you? cometh. <laughs> <laughs> Not sending no. me to the cooler. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm gonna cry. I can't. <laughs> Stay <laughs> cool, <laughs> bird boy. <laughs> where 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 cool is party. Rick, Allow me to break the ice. <laughs> I, I get Arnold. I get Arnold. Uh, oh my gosh! Let's kick some ice. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I get I get Arnold, Mister Freeze, and you get Jim Carrey, Riddler. Like it's not fair. <laughs> it's not fair, man. Yeah, because Riddler is better. He, he has a he has a cool outfit. Besides, like the last one, that one kind of sucks. But like, he looks hilarious. Hilarious, but like, what's what happened with me? That's it's unfair. How come I can't have? How come I can't have what I want? But maybe if we wait until the Batman two, you'll get your answers. And that leads me to my next piece of news: the Batman two is now in the works, according to Matt Reeves. Matt Reeves has already talked about how he wants he would like to do Mister Freeze. So I mean, come on. Two. I mean, do it for the second one. Everyone wants it anyway. Yeah. Listen to I the mean, people. Listen to the people. Come on, Matt. Yeah. Come on, Matt. I also did read because uh, we're getting a Penguin spinoff show. Apparently, the shows are going to be R rated. Are you serious? Yeah. So the shows are going to be R rated, but not the dang movie. Well, the movie's <laughs> coming out in theaters and stuff. These are going to be HBO Max exclusive. <sighs> Peacemaker it was HBO Max exclusive and it was R rated. <laughs> so this Squad was R rated as well, though. So how come the Batman can't be R rated? It makes me mad. <laughs> like, well, that's because well, you, they said it pushes the boundaries of PG thirteen. This is mainly because it doesn't have as much. It has cussing in it, but it doesn't have as much to make an R rated movie. You think? You think? Okay. Uh, okay. Here's another expectation. You think Batman's going to cuss in the movie? <laughs> you think, no, you he's think not going to turn into Batfleck. Batfleck, <laughs> gosh, he's going to be Pat. He's going to be. It's going to be Pat Bat or Bat Pat. Pat Batterson. No, Bat. No, we're not calling him. Yes, no, we we're, are. No, we're not. Or Pat Bat. No, or or Pat Man. I'm not Pat Man. We're calling him Pat Man. Pat Man. Okay, fine. We'll go with that, Pat. Man. So I'm excited. What? Oh crap! What were we even talking about? The Batman no, too. <laughs> oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Freeze. We already know. We already know. Literally, if they make the color theme blue in the sequel instead of red, that's gonna be like the. That's gonna be the chef's kiss of all of this. That's like all but, anyone wants. But I mean, literally, and me and you were talking about that fan casting we saw. And I re- and like when you first hear it, you don't like it, but then you look at like images of what this actor looks like, and then you kind of imagine him kind of being blue and having the suit with the goggles, and mm-hmm. it, it looks perfect. And um, if you don't know yet, uh, me and Darren both saw his fan cast of Woody Harrelson as Mister Freeze, and yeah. the, I don't know. I honestly, I honestly think that would be pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, this. Hold on. This is breaking news for me. Uh, The avatars, um, like on Netflix, you know how you can choose your avatar, your character profile. The avatars featuring Marvel's Defenders characters are starting to disappear for Netflix subscribers. I have Daredevil as my picture. My my, Daredevil is mine as well. No, I think I think think it stays on there though. If you if you don't change it, it stays on there. But. I'm wow. pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it stays on. It there. says it's still available in your avatar history for the time being, but profiles who haven't ever picked one of the defenders are unable to do so. Okay. Well, my dad. Well, thing here's the thing. My dad has a Dracula from Castlevania, right? Okay. And the Castlevania profile uh, PFPs are not on there at all. So, <laughs> and he still has Dracula because I was going to switch my likes uh, to uh, Richter or Alucard, but it's not on there. So. So I think if you leave it on there, it'll still stay on there. 
That's good. Um, but I was just been breaking news there. Let's move yes. back on to the Batman. It's funny because like I, I never even thought about that, actually. So it's kind of funny you brought that up. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, we're getting Batman 2, whenever that'll be. Um, I guess I'm assuming maybe in two years. Maybe. Yeah, I'm hoping it ain't like one of those like, oh, it's four years. I'm like, no, don't do that. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. It's two, <laughs> three, but early three. Like it better come out January. <laughs> January. This movie, if it does not come out in, when do you think the sequel? When do you think we could see the sequel? 2023. No, 2024. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Do you think next year at DC Fandom? We'll see a like, not a trailer, but kind of an announcement for it. Maybe. Okay. Okay. Just wanted to hear your thing. Just wanted to hear your take on it. Let's move on to another um, Batman related project. Not the Batman related, but just Batman related. DC's Batgirl movie is premiering in December of this year on HBO Max. Is it is it weird? I'm kind of like really excited for this. No, okay. just because it's Cause people. A lot of people don't want because like, oh, it's Batgirl. That's not fun. But like, she's an oh, interesting, Batgirl, interesting character, and it's got interesting films. Michael who, Keaton's coming. Who hates Batgirl though? That's what I'm wondering. I Spillman. love Batgirl. <laughs> Spillman. I don't think that's the case. <laughs> He's. I don't think Spillman hates Batgirl. He's no, mad uh, because they keep making movies about characters no one wants. <laughs> No one wants. Us. Well, I mean, I mean, I'll admit, I'm not a person begging for a Batgirl movie, but yet we got. I'll it. take what I can but, get, man. I'll tell you. But I mean, we're getting Firefly, and you know, it looks pro- it looks promising. I mean, I've seen her suit, and it looks good. Mm-hmm. And um, and it has like the ponytail on the back. I mean, it looks. I mean, it looks like the Batgirl suit. So, I mean, I ain't really complaining. I ain't complaining much. So yeah. <laughs> But Batgirl's coming this year, so that's great. We're going to get to see mm-hmm. Michael Keaton again. Twice this year, we get to see Michael Keaton. Have... <laughs> well, I, it's one for me. Three times yeah. this year, we get to see Michael Keaton. See. Actually, Morbius as Vulture, and then Michael Keaton's Batman comes in the Flash, and then Michael Keaton's Batman also comes in Batgirl. <sighs> I don't... What? <laughs> this is like... <laughs> too, much Ke- too much Keaton. But, but you guess what? Yeah. We have to watch the Flash because we have to review it, but also... I don't want to watch it's the, the fi- It's the final movie with Ben Affleck's Batman. Oh, yeah. Crap. Okay. I do have to watch it, but I'll leave right after. <laughs> <laughs> once, he, once he dies, because it's going to happen, you're going to get up and leave. I know. I know he's going to die. I don't know why. This is the first time a Batman's died on screen, right? That's going to yes. be tough seeing Batman die. I know. We're gonna see, I know. Your kids have to see Batman. Uh, maybe like Flash like resets the world or something. I don't know. And he turn and Bruce and Finn F like turns old and becomes Michael Keaton. Yeah. He, and they create uh, a whole co- a continuous loop of time where it's just like, oh, that means Ben Affleck's Batman is actually Michael Keaton's Batman, just younger. And so in the Ben Affleck, so, in the Tim Burton universe, it was Ben Affleck. Yeah. I wonder. Are we gonna see Batgirl in the Flash? Hmm. Maybe. Considering we're going to see Michael Keaton in Flash, are we? You think it's going to be a reference to Flash? And uh, I I, obviously, I, Michael Keaton's Batman is going to become the Batman of our universe. I think, and then and Batgirl be, become the almost uh, in in a way a twisted version of what Batman Beyond is. Sort of. That's what, that's what I'm thinking. Well, of. I, don't, I don't know if I like that now. I don't know if I'm a fan of that. They can't introduce Terry McGinnis and have. Michael Keaton be his mentor. They introduce Batgirl, and maybe Michael Keaton. Kind of, maybe Michael Keaton gives her tips or something along the way. But they'll do that. It's not Batman Beyond, but it's taking cues from Batman Beyond. Oh, that's what I'm saying. I don't know if I, I mean. I always like. I mean, I know they're going like Batgirl and Batman are going like work together in this, and I like Batgirl doing her own thing. But I don't like the idea of Bruce being like old. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I mean, Michael Keaton is old. <laughs> like I always saw like. I, I'm gonna say Batman. I'm gonna say Batman and Batgirl are like the same age. Are they gonna? De- like, do you think they're gonna de-age Michael Keaton's Batman? Because obviously they only have to de-age his eyes and like mouth. Well, they de No, I think he's gonna be old. I think he's gonna be like older. But you just say you didn't want him to be old. Yeah, well, I don't want him. To. That's what I'm saying. I'm fine with him being old and like. 
I don't know what I want. <laughs> I just don't like the idea of Batgirl. Basically, Batgirl. you heard this. Landon is a hard person to please when it comes to I, Batman. I'm not, I'm not no, Spillman's a hard person to please. Holy crap. <laughs> I mean, but I mean, no, no hate, uh, no hate towards him. And I'm just, I'm just saying, I don't know if I like the idea of a whole Batgirl, Batman Beyond type, key, like taking cues from that. I just, it just doesn't sound right to me. But whatever. Well, that is the end of my DC news. Now we've only been recording for forty-five minutes. Oh well, I was probably it's probably the shortest episode of our regular. It will be short, but I got a game to celebrate well, the hold Batman. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I got, I got, no, you don't have got, any got, youth, have useful games. news about Marvel's Avengers. I have, okay, I, have, I do. I have one little piece. Uh, current homecoming suit is in the store right now, so pick it up if you want to. Okay, now we're good. All right, still boycotting that game. That's the gaming news. I'm still boycotting that game. All right, uh, let me check on here just in case there's any extra news. I'm on the direct.com because that's where I look at a lot of my news. Uh, the Batman director breaks silence on deleted scene with rumored Joker actor. I already read about that. That did happen. Uh, Matt Reeves talked about how he did a scene with the unseen Arkham prisoner who he found out um, is played by Barry Cogan, who played Druig in Eternals. And uh, he's been in a lot of other movies. Yeah. But um, he's been rumored to play Joker. And I'm I'm kind of I, I don't I'm on the fence if he's playing Joker. Or maybe he's playing Mad Hatter. But I will um, find out which we'll find out which one he's got prosthetics, whoever whichever character he's playing. So I would assume Joker as an after credit scene is what I feel like. But anyway, he says it's a deleted scene with the character, which doesn't mean he's not in the movie. It just means that one scene isn't. So I, I, I'm expecting at least an after credit scene teasing Joker. Oh, actually, no, because I read that Batman doesn't have an after credit scene. So it's the end of the movie. But it's got. I read it has an Easter egg, not an after credit scene. Huh. I bet the Easter egg's going to be Joker's laugh. Do you imagine? Okay. You get all the way in the credits and he just laughs. You hear laughing. Is it? That would be the greatest. That'd be the greatest after credit scene. Hear, that'd be so you, hear, you, hear, you hear the chuck. You hear a chuckle or whatever. You hear. Ah, ah. <laughs> I swear, if I hear, if I hear freaking Jared Leto. <laughs> ah, ah, like, no. <laughs> Why? <laughs> this movie sucks I'm now. Cry. I'll cry, man. I cannot. Uh, you'd, you'd be on the theater crazy. floor like popcorn. No. Like, <laughs> flying everywhere. I would, just... I would yell out, no. Y- y'all, everyone in row D. Is going to drag me out of that, <laughs> drag me out of that theater. That'd be great. All right, but that is the news. Let's do some Batman trivia to celebrate the Batman coming out next week. Uh, so I'm going to ask you some questions, Landon. Uh, Batman right. comic book, not really comic book trivia. Some of it is, some of it's not. I want to see, based off your knowledge of the character Batman and all what, what, stuff around what, what? it. What happens if I fail a lot? Do am I off the show? Well, if you fail three times, I kill a truckload of children. I'm just kidding. Oh, I was gosh, trying, I was so trying to one? give you a Batman one? villain ultimatum, but it didn't work. Well, you sound like the, I mean that's pretty Riddler of you, Darren. I guess. I guess we're Choose going. I guess we're the going children or the girl. <laughs> neither. I want them. It was a Green Goblin neither. reference. Yeah. 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 All right, well, here we go. Let's start off with a couple easy questions, all right? Okay. Okay. What supervillain once broke Batman's back, leaving him crippled and wheelchair bound? I'll give you four. I'll give you the four answers. All right. Okay. Rachel Ghoul, Joker, Bane, or Killer Croc? Uh, Condiment King. No, I'm kidding. It's, Incorrect. It's Bane. <laughs> yes. Correct. No, it's obviously Bane. It's Bane. You are right. After deducing Batman's secret identity and invading the sanctity of Wayne Manor in the Batcave, Bane not only defeated Batman, but broke his back, leaving him crippled and wheelchair bound. Helpless, Bruce Wayne left his costume and crime fighting duties to John Paul Valley and set out on an arduous quest to regain his strength and will to fight. Eventually, after much rehabilitation and training with the beautiful but deadly Lady Shiva, Wayne returned to Gotham to reclaim the mantle of the Dark Knight. Now that was the nightfall, right? Uh yes. Was that when uh Azrael became Batman? Uh yes. <laughs> Jean Paul so. Valley, I think that's Azrael, right? Uh yes, yes, it is. Okay. 
All right, here's a second question. What were the names of Bruce Wayne's parents? George and Elaine, James and Elizabeth, Wayne and Alice, or Thomas and Martha? <sighs> Why did you say that name? It's uh, Thomas and Martha Wayne. Why did you say that name? Why did you say that name? As a child, Bruce Wayne witnessed the gruesome murder of his parents. All right. That's what it says. I'm reading with the description. <laughs> Not really much of a description. <laughs> no. The- Who is credited with creating Batman? Joe Shuster, Bob Kane, Jerry Siegel, or Jack Kirby? Uh, Bob Kane. Correct Amundo. <laughs> <laughs> He's cr- generally credited, well, along, he though worked with Bill Finger. He was credited with creating the character of Batman. He was a 22-year-old comic book artist when he was charged with the task of creating another superhero in the mold of the DC phenomenon Superman. According to Kane, the original concept for Batman came from three sources. A Leonardo da Vinci sketch of a man trying to fly like with bat-like wings, a 1930s movie titled The Bat Whisperer, and the masked hero Zorro and the Shadow. Batman made his first appearance in Detective Comics number 27 in May of 1939. Now, we... Well, debate of who did. Yeah, Bill Actually, Finger and Bob Kane. Yeah. About it. I need to read a book about it. I can it. go and tell you, if you want to know more about um, the comic origin of a lot of different Batman-related characters, you should check out our new series that just dropped last week, The Arkham Files. How'd you like that transition, by the way? Um, <laughs> check out The Arkham Files. Yeah. Please congratulate yourself out loud. We That's did, cool. yeah. Last week, we did an episode about the Joker and his entire comic history from the moment he was introduced to the mm, till now. This mm-hmm. week, um, this upcoming Wednesday, uh, we're dropping an episode about Two Face. <laughs> It's going to be then, not as long as the Joker one, probably. Oh, oh well, we're going to have to uh, skip next week's. Yeah. Weeks purely because of the Batman. We're going to do Batman review. And then right after that, we're going to do uh, a few We'll dive into the Riddler. I'll go ahead and say it. Yeah. Yeah. Going, going off the hype of the Batman, oh, which yeah. I think is very, fit, very fitting. I didn't even think about that whenever I chose that. I just chose yeah. Riddler because I want to do him so bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. We better be doing my guy next <laughs> after Riddler. We, but, uh, possibly. You know? Oh, I know. I'm trying to remember who it was in the mod. I know, I know, freaking Mr. Freeze was pretty late, but it don't matter. It don't matter. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we're just we're doing. All right, what Batman villain formerly worked as a zoologist? Poison Ivy, Killer Croc, Ooh. the Penguin, or Man Bat? Now, there's one, or actually okay. two. I know you can uh, eliminate. Yeah. Um. You said a zoologist. Yeah. And what what, what were the choices again? So he had Poison Ivy. Killer Croc, the Penguin, or Man Bat? Okay, I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm gonna mark out the Penguin because okay. I asked that right. <sighs> I know another one you can mark out. Think about words and stores. Yeah, um, <sighs> I'm not like too I'm sure over, on this I, myself. Well, I feel I feel like I'm overthinking it. I feel like Man Bat is one of them. Well, think about this. What is Man Bat's origin? Who was he before he became a Man Bat? He was the um, he was the he was that doc, he was the doctor. I can't remember the doctor's name right now, but he was he was. A, he, I'm trying going off the Arkham games. He was. What's the man bat's real name? Why am I forgetting this? Hang on. I know the guy doing. He was researching all. This Kirk Lang, Doctor Kirk Langstrom. That's his name. Yeah, Kirk Langstrom. I want to say. <laughs> I want to say he's one of them. Because well, here's the problem. I'm not too familiar with Killer Croc's origin story. I know I'm not, I know, I'm not either. We'll be doing an episode about him. Guy. I know he's a guy at one point, and like Croc, he con- he's constantly evolving more animal like, and he said like through the Arkham games. Yeah. Um, I know. Po- I want to say Man Bat Poison Ivy. Uh, I'm gonna need an answer. A final answer. I said. I thought you said there's two answers. No, there's one answer. I said there's two you could oh. eliminate. Oh, it's talking with it. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go with uh, Man Bat. All right, correct. That was the one okay, that I, that's I thought it was Poison Ivy. Actually, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I, was, I wanted to say Ivy because I, I, like, I knew Killer. I know it wasn't Killer Croc because she she worked in botanical gardens, right? Yeah. It says, scientist Kirk Langstrom was employed as a zoologist at the Gotham City Zoo, where he experimented with the bat mutagen to create a serum to replicate the creature's long life. After testing the serum on himself, Langstrom was transformed into the vicious man bat. So basically, he's Morbius. Yeah. But is he is he is he the living vampire, though? 
Yeah, well, he's the living bat vampire. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, so, big deal. There's a big difference. There. Here's one big that big might be a little difficult for you. Okay. What year was the character of Robin first introduced? 1950, oh. 1970, 1940, or 1960? Now, there are, uh, there's a few ways you can think about this to get your answer, um, <laughs> media-wise. What, what, what Robin are we talking here? Robin just, in general. Just first ever appearance of Robin. Okay. Yes. Think uh, about it. What do we know he was in in the earliest like movie or TV show? Well, well, he was in the 60s, obviously, with the Adam West show. So I'm, I'm okay, so you know that one. eliminates one answer already. That eliminates the 1970s. <laughs> Well, I, well, I will say, well, I, I'm gonna say it eliminates the '60s as well. Okay. So, uh, oh. I here crap, man. I mean, I'm trying. I'm trying to think here. So, '50s, '60s, '50s, '40s, or '60s. Okay. I won't go with '40s. All right, let's click on it. Correct. Bob Kane introduced oh, Batman's yeah. young sidekick, Robin the Boy Wonder, in 1940 to give Batman someone to talk to. Robin Darian. made his first appearance in Detective Comics number 38 in April of 1940. I mean, Darian, I mean, at this rate, man, you ought to capture some children. Because <laughs> I, mean, I, I don't think I'm going to lose. All right, but we'll see because there's still more to go. In Detective Comics number 267, a magical kobold from another dimension decides to help Batman fight crime. What is his name? Martian Manhunter, Bat Dwarf, Miss, Mr. Mixel Pitlick, or Batmite? A pole? Huh? Uh, a couple co- kobold. A cult? What the I don't know is what that is. We'll find out. Let's look at uh, it. What is that? A magical well, kobold. A uh, kobold is a. Oh, it's some kind of. I don't know. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> Kobold meaning uh, a spirit that haunts houses or lives underground. A spirit, or no, like a being, some kind of being. I don't know. Some type of being. Okay. Who cares? Well, uh, okay. Well, I'm marking out Martian Manhunter. Okay, he helps Batman fight crime from another dimension. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm gonna say this is Man Bat. Uh, not Man Bat. No, uh, 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 okay. Bat 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 Ding ding ding! A magical kobold from another dimension made his first appearance in Detective. Comics number 267 is Batmite when he makes a chaotic attempt to aid Batman in his fight against crime. All right. The original Batgirl was related to what familiar Batman character? The Joker, Alfred, Batwoman, or Commissioner Gordon? Uh, Gordon. Wrong. What? Batgirl? The original Batgirl. The original? Ooh. You give you one more chance before I give you the right oh, answer. Oh, my, my bad, my bad. The Joker, okay. Alfred, Batwoman, and that's your that's your choice. Oh, I know what it is. It's dang, uh, it's Alfred because it's like niece, right? You're wrong. What? The Joker or Batwoman? I'm very surprised that you're wrong. I thought that was both of those were right. <laughs> I, well, I I get. I was gonna say okay. Okay, I was saying Gordon because that's usually what it is now. Then I was thinking Alfred because of Batman and because of Batman Forever. Mm-hmm. That's what it, that's, his, that's his niece. Okay, Batwoman or the Joker? I'm gonna say Batwoman. Correct. The original Batgirl first introduced in Batman number one thirty nine was Betty Kane, the niece of Batwoman. A later version of Batgirl, Barbara Gordon, was the daughter of Police Commissioner James Gordon. So we learned mm. some stuff. Okay, yeah, I didn't know that. Okay. I didn't know it well, either. Those kids hey, are here. We go. <laughs> <laughs> Which of these bat villains were introduced for were introduced first? Catwoman, the Riddler, Mister Freeze, or the Penguin? Catwoman. Correct. Catwoman made her first appearance in Batman number one in the spring of 1940. The Penguin was in 1941. Riddler was in 1948, and Mister Freeze was 1959. Mm. I, the only reason why I know this one was because of you, honestly, because yep. uh, I think last week's yeah, Arkham, you mentioned it. Mm-hmm. All right, what was Alfred the Butler's original family name? Wyndham, Chatsworth, Beagle, or Pennyworth? His original last name? Yeah. <sighs> okay, well, I'm going to say it's not Pennyworth. 
Then I don't know. Do you want to guess Pennyworth? I, I want to guess Pennyworth, but I feel like they changed it. I mean, you said it's saying original because it makes me think that's not Pennyworth. Here, I'm going to go with Pennyworth, though. All right. Wrong. Okay. Wyndham? Uh, Wind, it's spelled Windham. But Wyndham. Windham. Okay. Wyndham. Chatsworth or Beagle? So Alfred Wyndham, Alfred Chatsworth, or Alfred Beagle? Go with uh, Chatsworth. Wrong. Uh, what is it? Because I, I honestly, I know I have like 50-50, but... Although Alfred's... Work. Although Alfred's family name has since been changed to a more dignified sounding Pennyworth, he made his first appearance in Batman number 16 in April uh, slash May of 1943. His name was Alfred Beagle. Alfred Beagle. Okay. What was yeah. Bathound's name? Lucky, Champ, Ace, or Bert? Uh, Ace. Correct. Ace the Bathound made his first appearance in Batman number 92 in June of 1955. Ace was a German shepherd found by Batman and Robin after his master was kidnapped by a gang of counterfeiters. The character was inspired by the success of Superman's pet dog Crypto in Adventure Comics. And we should just do a game show podcast where we invite a guest on every week and have them do yeah. some trivia. <laughs> oh yeah, do some trivia. Okay. I'm enjoying this. I'd be kind of, I'd be kind of interested in the that. I'd be kind of cool. Mm-hmm. All right, let's move on. Here we go. This might be difficult for you. We're getting in a little bit more difficult territory here. Mm -hmm. Who was the Earth 2 daughter of Batman and Catwoman? Huntress, Indigo, Oracle, or Katana? Mm. I don't know this, but I I do have a guess of what it could be. Uh, What Can you tell me? Can you give me the options again? Huntress, Indigo, Oracle, Katana. The daughter of Catwoman and Batman. Now, Katana, you know, is the girl with the mask. She was in Suicide Squad, the original one. The girl with the mask and the sword. Uh, I'm going to go with Huntress. Correct. Bronze Age Huntress was Helena Wayne, the daughter of the Batman and Catwoman of Earth 2, an alternate universe where the Golden Age stories took place. However, she and Power Girl, which is Superman's cousin on Earth 2, were mysteriously hurled to the main DC universe after a battle with Darkseid's minions. I I honestly just guessed at that one. I I had no idea. Here we go. This one might be a little difficult. It might not be. What comic book featured Batman teaming with a different hero each issue? The Brave and the Bold? DC Showcase, Detective Comics, or Batman Family? I'm going to say Brave and the Bold. Correct. For okay. Most of its original run, Brave and the Bold was a team-up book with Cape Crusader as the book's main focus. Awesome. Which of the following characters did Bruce Wayne have a son with? Vesper Fairchild, Poison Ivy, Catwoman, or Talia al Ghul? Uh, <laughs> Talia. Yep. Uh, Talia told Batman she'd had a miscarriage, but actually left the child to be raised with a League of Assassins. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. And that was, I'm guessing, Damien? Yeah. God. Oh, <laughs> Batman should have left him there. <laughs> Honestly. <God. laughs> what superhero team did Batman found with Metamorpho and Black Lightning? Was it the Crusaders, All Star Squadron, Batman Incorporated, or Outsiders? I'm going to say Batman Incorporated. You would be wrong. Oh. Mm. The Crusaders, the All-Star Squadron, or Outsiders? Uh, and who, who is part of this team again? Uh, he founded it with Metamorpho and Black Lightning. Mm. Would you like for me to look up all of the members of this team? <laughs> no. Okay. Uh... I'm gonna go with. I'm sorry. Last time, say say what were all choices? The Crusaders, the All Star Squadron, or the Outsiders? <sighs> the Watchmen. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Watchmen. Um, I'm gonna go with. Uh, I, I want to say Outsiders, but like I feel like go with your gut. <laughs> do what you gotta do. Uh, outsiders. You're right. Batman founded the Outsiders with two heroes who would refuse membership in the Justice League. Black Lightning and Metamorpho. Other founding members included Geoforce, Katana, and Halo. 
Okay. Never heard of one of those. Mm-hmm. What former district attorney became the villain known as Two Face? Harvey Dent, Edward Nigma, Floyd Lawton, or Jason Blood? Uh, Harvey Dent. Uh, wrong. It was actually uh, Selena Kyle. I'm just kidding. So I, yeah, you're right. I, I, thought, I thought you were going to say Harvey. Uh, Harvey Kent. Was like a, <laughs> yeah, Harvey Kent. Yeah. Um, you can I, find I out more about this that. guy. Yeah. You'll find out more about this guy on this upcoming week's episode of the Arkham Files. There you go. And I'm not going to read about him because you're going to find out for yourself on that episode. Yeah. And we'll just do, let's see, uh, four more questions and we'll be done. Awesome. Or five more. But I think it's five. Awesome. Okay. What, what writer first referred to the Batman as the Dark Knight? Christopher Nolan, Bob Kane, Bill Finger, or Frank Miller? Now, Frank Miller wrote uh, Dark, Dark Knight Returns. Knight. Okay. I'm missing. Is that is that a hint? I, I know don't it know. Ain't Nolan. I was just like, I know it ain't Nolan. I know it ain't Nolan. I I will say it's not Bob Kane. Okay. Who is the Who is the other two? Bill Finger or Frank Miller? Bill Finger worked with Bob Kane to create Batman. Mm. I'm gonna say Frank Miller. Wrong. Oh no, 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 no! It's too late. I already guess it was wrong. Okay. Because I, I was, I was, I was like, he literally calls it the Dark Knight Returns. That does not make sense. <laughs> so someone before the okay, so it's either Bob Kane or Bill Finger. Is it Bill Finger? The nickname was first applied to Batman in Batman number one in 1940, in the story written by Bill Finger. Yeah, okay. See, if you used your brain on that one, and I did not, <laughs> you would realize that Frank Miller named a comic Dark Knight Returns. So there was something per- previous before that. Okay. So that's on me. So who killed Jason Todd, the second Robin? Batman, Bane, Joker, or Two Face? Uh, Joker. All right, in 1988's Batman A Death in the Family storyline, DC Comics had a telephone poll to determine whether or not Robin would die at the hands of the Joker. He was killed off by a margin of 72 votes, 5,343 against 5,271. After Jason is killed by the Joker and resurrected in the Lazarus Pit, he goes on to become the Red Hood. Uh, I was kind of, people, people wanted Robin dead. <laughs> God. Yeah. What Batman villain lost his beloved wife Nora to a terminal illness? Two Face, Mister Freeze, Rachel Ghoul, or Scarecrow? It's my guy, Mister Freeze. Yep. When his beloved wife felt terminally ill, Victor Freeze, or Mister Freeze as we know him, obsessively searched for a way to cure her until an industrial accident caused by a greedy business executive turned him into a mutant who can only survive in sub-zero temperatures. Um, I'm kicking some ice right now, Darian. So I want to let you know. All right. <laughs> Uh, what member of the Batman family became Oracle? Batwoman, Batgirl, Huntress, or Catwoman? Batgirl. <laughs> Correct. After Joker being shot by the Joker and left paraplegic, Batgirl, Barbara Gordon, reinvents herself as the computer expert and information broker Oracle. And finally, last question. What Batman villain... I know the answer to this one. What Batman villain was murdered and thrown into Slaughter Swamp? Onyx, uh- Solomon Grundy, Jack and Apes or a Copperhead? I know this from Gotham. Huh. But it also happened in the comics. Hmm. Hmm. He, he, this person was killed? Uh, he was murdered and then thrown into Slaughter Swamp. Uh, who, who are the choices? Onyx, Solomon Grundy, Jack and Apes or Copperhead? <laughs> Son of Swamp. I'm going to go with Solomon Grundy. All right. Cyrus Gold was a Gotham City merchant who was murdered and thrown into Slaughter Swamp, where he was transformed into the undead, incredibly strong, zombie-like creature known as Solomon Grundy. I remember, I remember in Gotham when they introduced this, they had the character in the show named Butch, right? And he was like worked for all the mobs, but he worked for Penguin for most of the time. And then yeah. he died, and it was like a huge thing. Like he was a big character, and he died. And then yeah. they were—he was in the hospital, and they are reading 
like off his thing. They look, look, took his like DNA and stuff and he had a driver's license on him and they opened it and they said, and there was a scene where doctors are looking at it and they go, this is funny. He says his real name here was Cyrus gold. And I didn't know who that was. And I looked it up mm-hmm. afterwards and I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. He like lives on it. And yeah. They I, ruined him. So. <laughs> and it sucked. Yeah. Well, that's why I watched Justin. And I saw, I saw it in Mr. Freeze outfit. I don't. That I don't. is better than the one we had. Yeah, well, that is true. That is true. Uh, so, did you keep account of like how I did or no? Um, so I did. So you got. Let me have to count them actually. So give me one second. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go back to this one. Oh well, uh, you got at least you got at least eight right. <laughs> oh, that's Hang on. good. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, I can't remember if you did this one or not. Twelve, eight to twelve, thirteen, fourteen, uh, fifteen, sixteen. You, correct out of twenty. <laughs> Okay, sixteen out of twenty. That's Not a ninety. Bad. You get a ninety. That's a ninety a grade. It's an A. It's a low A. Yeah, it's an A. So my Batman knowledge is an A. Yeah, that tells you. Uh, so that is- that's all I got to do today, and that left us with forty-eight minutes left. So I think it's a decent time to end this one. I think sometime I should give you some trivia. All you know, right. See how good you are. We'll see. We will give see. me some Riddler trivia. I'll do all that. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you. I'll give you every riddle Riddler has ever said. <laughs> and I'll answer them all. I'll give you a riddle right now. Yeah, give me one. Lay one on me. All right. Um, I don't have it exactly memorized, but it's from Gotham. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you this. Okay. Hang on. Let me get it here. Be- you right. better not start. It, you better not start off by saying riddle me this. You better not say it. You better, <laughs> okay. I, I'm not. I won't answer. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here's your riddle. Okay. Riddle me this. <laughs> uh, what okay. is nowhere but everywhere except where something is? What is nowhere but everywhere but something is? No, what is nowhere but everywhere except where something is? Hmm. <sighs> What is say it one more time? What is nowhere but everywhere except where something is? I just want you to know by this time Riddler already murdered you because you won't answer his riddle. <laughs> I, I'm thinking. You know I mean, I don't, can, can, it, can I just not think? No, I mean, you're sitting here like, can you please repeat? I, I, Batman doesn't. If Riddler asks the riddle, Batman doesn't go. Uh, can you please repeat, Riddler? <laughs> you can, yeah, he doesn't need to repeat, repeat it because he has it in like a voice recording. He can just like <laughs> replay it. I did a little detective. <laughs> oh my gosh! I ugh. Is all you have to go on my race car tracks. No, <laughs> Find every one of my riddles and come back <laughs> and then race. <laughs> I want to watch you race. Fight me in a giant robot suit. Uh, uh, you want to know the answer? Hold up. What's nowhere and everywhere except for where something is? Uh huh. I was gonna say air, but that doesn't sound right. <laughs> so you got uh, you got nothing. Uh, I must yeah, I'm gonna say nothing. No, oh, well that is the answer. Wait, what? <laughs> the answer is nothing. <laughs> what? Oh, dude, I dude, I wasn't even trying to answer. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh my god. Here, I got one more. This is a quick one. I like this one. What I want. The poor have, the rich need, and if you eat it, you'll die. What am I? The rich eat it. What? Wait, no. Whole, you said that like so fast. The poor have it, the rich need it, and if you eat it, you'll die. <sighs> poor have it. 
One more time. Say it one more time because I'm like trying to get concentrate everything, every word you say. What I want, the poor have, the rich need, and if you eat it, you'll die. Nothing. <laughs> Correct. Is that nothing? <laughs> yeah, nothing at all. <laughs> yeah. So basically, all the riddles in Gotham uh, are the answer is nothing, and that's what the show sums up to is nothing. All yeah, right. The show is nothing. You don't watch it. it never. <laughs> no, it, was, it was a good show. Mm-hmm. I'm sure it was. The Flash. It's better than any CW show. Uh, besides Arrow. And Superman and Lois. Superman and Lois is a lot you, better. You, you have failed this podcast. No. Uh, I ain't got nothing else. And uh, it's probably a good time to end this off. Yes. End it off with me being way more smarter than Darian on Batman trivia. Hey, so, I would I, I would have got all that. Uh, who uh, got all the red riddles in every single Arkham game? Huh? Um, I got them uh, in uh, all of them except Origins. Oh, oh, you didn't get except Origins? No, because who, plat- who has platinumed a Batman game? Uh, somebody that spends way too much time on Batman Arkham games. <laughs> I, I mean, I'll, I'll blame you for not for not platinum those games. Those challenge maps, study, honestly, those are like the worst things on the planet. And, no, all right. Well, anyway, let's end this off. <laughs> well, well, hold on. I want to end off saying Batman Arkham Knight sucks. And, <laughs> Batman uh, Arkham Knight sucks. Spawn sucks. Hulk 2003 sucks. Um, Green Lantern on, sucks. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. What's this Hulk 2003 talk? Like, why are, are you talking about that? Have you seen? You, we saw that movie. We both sounded like super out of it. That's <laughs> well, I was I was tired that day. Yeah, and I, was Hulk 2003. I almost kind of watched Green Green Lantern again because I like. <laughs> Well, I was sick. I was sick, man. It made me like really hate that movie. <laughs> and why do I want to watch it again? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I don't know either. <laughs> all right. But with that being said, I guess we're gonna go ahead and end this off. Anyways, let's end it off. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right. Thank you all so much for joining us this week. Like I said, go check out the Arkham Files episode from last week. Check out the new one that's coming out in a couple days after this drops. And if you have any questions, comments, corrections, or concerns, you can contact me on Instagram at DarienH4404. That's D-A-R-I-E-N-H-4404. Or on Facebook at the Comic Book Burrito colon official page. Love it over there. I always post stuff. I posted like three things today. Uh, congratulations. Uh, yeah. Or on Twitter. At the CB Burrito. It's a capital C, capital B, capital B in burrito. Uh, you can contact me, Aspire underscore Landon, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, him, and our official uh, Instagram page at the Comic Book Burrito. Um, we kind of like reactivated that account. I don't know. It's uh, I've been posting a lot of stuff on there. But I posted a little trailer for our Arkham Files, and you know, a little meme with Toby, Andrew, and Tom as Spider Man. I mean, but um. Me and Darian both recommend uh, going on Twitter and Facebook because we will we love to talk to people, big big fans of everyone who love the show or just love comic books in general. So go check those out. Yeah, and with that being said, I guess we're gonna get out of here. Uh, mm-hmm. Well, actually, I also wanted to point out that, um, and Lana kind of mentioned it towards the beginning. I've been thinking about it the whole episode. Then I'll go ahead and announce it. You go, hold on. No. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead. Hold on. Is it, is it what I'm know. thinking of? I'm going to let them know. Is it what I'm thinking of? Yeah. I, I kind of want to do an extra beef on it where we just explain everything. Well, there's not much to explain other than uh, we'd spoil well, the whole thing if we did. Well, and I explain the whole thing, but like. Kind of go. I'm just going to announce what it is right now. That we're talking about. It's people, like are so, people are so confused right now. I'm going to announce what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, me and Landon, just for you guys, the comic book burrito community, we are writing a comic book. Or we have actually oh, finished writing the comic book. Yeah, the first volume, at least. Yes. Um, we're having people view it right now. Now, just, you know, well, simple people, you know, to. They kind of you kind of give us a good judge of asking like, hey, you know, do you think do you think people would be interested in this? And I'm hoping they are not trying to be nice <laughs> to, to us. They said, I mean, so far we've gotten positive things. So, uh, so I'm, we yeah. will we will see. And I, I we do have a title. I don't know if you want to announce the title or not. Uh, yeah, we can announce the title. 
All right. Well, the title of me and Landon's comic book is none other than Night Watcher and Kill Zone. The titular duo of vigilantes. Uh, that story will be in your guys' hands, hopefully, sometime this summer. Yeah, we're going to have it in the comic book shops. You can go in there and buy it. Hopefully. Um, I hope. And heck, maybe, who knows, if this thing sells really well, we'll have a booth at a comic convention in here, some, somewhere here in North Carolina, and we'll we'll sign y'all's, we'll sign y'all's comic books or something. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's the, kind of the dream right there currently, and hopefully we can get there. I said it in the last episode of 2021 of the podcast, the 2022 is the year of the comic book burrito. Yeah. And we're taking big steps. Yeah. So make a new series, write a comic book, get guests. Yes. Yeah. We're, we're going all out this year and, you know, hopefully next year we can go further. And possibly sometime this year, maybe um, you could just see our faces for the first time on here. Oh, yes. Yes. I forgot. We did possibly in that. June. Or not June, July. Yes, for the one year. Yeah, the one year anniversary of the comic book burrito. We will reveal our beautiful faces, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. But, you know, <laughs> it'll like, be yeah. disappointing. But, I mean, honestly, I'm excited to kind of do our faces and, you know, you'll, have, of, you'll have the okay. same reaction that I had to seeing the Riddler's face on the new Batman, the Batman clip that came out the other day, and Laughter how I felt when I saw the Mandalorian's face for the first time. <laughs> Laughter it was just oh <laughs> okay oh really that's what they look like um i'm excited because i think uh good things can come out of it and i think it could really boost uh well for one youtube numbers for us because you know you get to actually just watch something besides just sound you know what i'm saying so yeah i'm really i'm really excited yeah but i'm gonna go ahead and end this off now all right mm-hmm. so i'd already told you guys the socials you gotta check those out um Patreon has a little bit of a jump start. I'm going to put that comic book on there as a thing you can earn for something. I'll figure that out. But um, I'll be working on it. I'll figure it out eventually. Maybe this summer it'll be ready. <laughs> yes, well, we will figure it out over time. It's a slow process, but... Yeah, for me. Cause I'm we'll we will get it. <laughs> yeah. All right, but thank you guys for listening this week on, on, you know, on YouTube, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts, and all those other nice little places that our podcast is calling its home. And for that, we'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys. See you. Excelsior!